Hello, my name is Alison Moatri, and I'm here at the University of California in San Diego, where my group focuses on the mechanisms behind human brain development and evolution. In this issue of Cell, together with our collaborators at the Salk Institute, we reported how human-induced pluripotent stem cells can be used to model a neurological disease. We focused on autism spectrum disorders. Such disorders are mainly characterized by impaired social interactions and repetitive behavior. We chose RAT syndrome as a prototype of autism spectrum disorders. RAT syndrome can be caused by mutations in a gene called MCP2, which is involved in the epigenetic regulation of target genes. To capture the genome of RAT syndrome patients in a pluripotent state, we reprogram fibroblasts from patients' skin biopsies. The resultant cells were induced pluripotent stem cells that could give rise to several specialized cell types, including neurons. We then compared neurons derived from red syndrome patients to neurons obtained from non-affected individuals. Interestingly, we noted that the diameter of the neuronal soma was smaller in red neurons when compared to controls. To confirm that this phenotype was caused by MECP2 loss of function, we knocked down MECP2 in control neurons and observed a similar decrease in cell soma size. Spine density was also reduced in red neurons. The number of spines, indicated here by red arrows, was measured after three-dimensional reconstruction of neuronal processes during confocal imaging. When we knocked down MECP2 in control neurons, we confirmed that the phenotype was specific to the loss of MECP2 expression. In addition, red neurons displayed fewer excitatory synapses visualized using specific antibodies against glutamatergic synaptic markers, here shown by yellow arrows. Finally, we detected altered calcium transients and spontaneous postsynaptic currents, confirming that red neurons formed a deficient neuronal network in culture. Recent studies have shown that reactivation of MCP2 expression in mice led to prolonged lifespan and revert of certain neurological symptoms. Using our human cell model to analyze the select compounds may revert the neuronal phenotype found in culture. Administration of insulin growth factor 1, or IGF-1, was recently described to improve the symptoms in a mouse model of rat syndrome. Therefore, we treat rat-derived neurons carrying different MCEP2 mutations with IGF-1. In IGF-1-treated neurons, we observe an increase in glutamatergic synapse number. In another approach, we treat red neurons carrying a non-sense mutation with the hit through drug gentamicin. We found that MCP2 protein levels increased to control levels after treatment. As a consequence, we rescued glutamatergic synapse numbers. By generating human neurons from red syndrome patients, we were able to recapitulate some of the neuronal defects associated with this disease in culture. Moreover, we were able to rescue or revert some of the neuronal defects associated with red syndrome and likely other autism spectrum disorders, indicating that the synaptic defects may not be permanent. In addition, we demonstrate that human-induced pluripotent stem cells can be used in a future drug screening platform, helping to better design and anticipate results from clinical trial. Finally, it is our hope that our work will help to reduce the stigma associated with mental disorders.